The new film, The Man from Uncle, opens in theaters this week. The film stars Man of Steel, Henry Cavill, and the social network's Army Hammer. All of us at this table have actually seen the film, and we wanted to give you our little review of the movie. So, John, let's start with you. Your thoughts on The Man from Uncle. I didn't know what to expect going in, because, look, first of all, I am a, a big fan of Henry Cavill. I love what he's done. I, I loved what he did in The Tudors. I thought he was really strong in that. I thought he did as much as a lead actor could do to salvage immortals. Uh, and I, I love him as Man of Steel. I, I love him as Superman. I think he's great. I also really like Army Hammer, notwithstanding the Lone Ranger and stuff like that. And here's for some of you who may forget, I remember sitting there watching that scene that's in the trailer where Cavill and and uh, Hammer are fighting in that in the bathroom stall. Right? It's like a lot of people forget George Miller's. Uh, Justice League movie that George Miller was working on about seven years ago yeah. now, six, seven years ago, that never came to fruition, but it was like weeks away from starting shooting. You know how they, they had cast as Batman? Army Hammer. So we were getting an early glimpse of Batman versus Superman. And Cavill was such a <laughs> Superman back then, too. I, I think I know Cavill, Cavill was being was looked at. Did he actually? I don't think did, Cavill was rumored to be Superman also because Cavill was supposed to be Superman in Brian Singer's version. Yes, and then I think that he was also supposed to play Superman. And in that he was version. supposed to be James Bond before they gave it to Daniel Craig. And right. It's like he's a right. lot of almost in his right. career. But I didn't know what to, to think going into it. I gotta tell you, me personally, I adored this film. I it reminded me a lot of the the spy kind of comedies that we used to get around the late eighties, early nineties era. I thought it had a lot of charm. I thought the characters were really good. I thought Army Hammer, once he starts speaking in his Russian accent, was totally gonna lose me. But you know what? It didn't. I actually got really into it. And the chemistry between the two, by the end of this film, I was like. I am totally ready for a sequel for this movie. I want to see these guys on screen together again. It probably won't happen because this movie's going to bomb, but <laughs> I really personally, I really like this movie, and I hope you give it a chance. I, I think I probably liked it the most at this table. I don't know, Chris, you saw it. Your thoughts on it. I enjoyed it as well, too, and I, and I have to give um, props to Guy Ritchie because, it, it look, here's one of the reasons, too, and I'm not going to kid myself. One of the reasons I think I enjoy this movie maybe more than I should is that I had just seen Fantastic Four two hours beforehand. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because the movie wasn't, and I had said this in our review, is that Fantastic Four wasn't fun. You cannot deny, even if you didn't like this movie, this movie is fun. They have fun with this movie for sure. Um, it's a bit campy. It's a bit cheesy at times, too. It, there's never really any stakes because you know it's all that. It, it, it almost feels like an Austin Powers movie at, at times, which is, I, I, was, I was okay with. I don't really, not as a person, I don't know the man, but as far as an actor goes, I'm not a fan of Army Hammer at all. I think that the studio has been, has been pushing him for years to be this star. He's never had the star quality. He, he's, he was good in the social networks, whatever. Everyone always brings up. Um, he was he, also really good in that Clint Eastwood movie that wasn't a good movie, the one with Leonardo one? DiCaprio. Oh, J. Oh, Edgar. J. Yeah. Edgar. Yeah, yeah but I he was wearing was the Six Flags good. Old yes. Man makeup yes, he the was, whole time. But that's so, not uh, his fault. But, no, it's not his <laughs> fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, but uh, no, he, uh, he, but in this movie, he's fine. I thought I, I, his accent wasn't great, but it didn't take me out of the movie. But Alicia Vikander, if that's how you pronounce her name, I'm in love with her. Oh, yeah. She is so. Yeah. Good. She is so good. She is. She just. She's. And I didn't like her at first. No, but just the but, acting. Her, her eyes. It's like great acting always comes with the eyes, and she's just so. She's going to be around for a very long time. I think that it was her and Cavill replacing Tom Cruise. I believe in this in this role as well too. Yeah. Um, Cavill s stepped up, showed a different range from himself. Actually, got to talk a lot more, Mark, than he did. In, in, he had lines, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I think that they're the stand the standouts in this, as well as Guy Ritchie. Uh, it's you know it's it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie, and I enjoyed it for what it was. You know, you guys are throwing around the L word. As my girlfriend can attest, I don't say love that often. Alicia Vikander, I'm definitely infatuated with. Henry Cavill and Army Hammer, I I I haven't seen enough of them to make me convinced that they're movie stars. But watching this film. They were the highlight to me. Their chemistry was so good as they're going back and forth and they don't really like each other, but they have to work together. That was the most intriguing part of the film. Guy Ritchie, I think eventually his style overtook the substance of the movie, and I thought that Hugh Grant was a little wasted in this. I wanted to see more of Hugh he Grant. Was. He yeah, seemed yeah. to have such fun when he was on screen. I wanted more of that, and it, it just I think the film wore out its welcome a little bit, but I was having a good time, and I think that if you go to the movie to see it, I hope it doesn't bomb, John, because I think it at least <laughs> is, is worth checking out if 
you're interested in a spy movie, and we talk about the year of spy movies potentially, starting off with Kingsman, okay? And then you have something like this. You have Spectre. You have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. If you're a spy, it's a good time to be at work. Yeah, so, I mean, out of 10 for me, I'm going to end up, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 for me. What would you give it? Uh, see, we don't, we don't, I push. I'll go 7.5. Yeah. All right, yeah. Mark. Uh, I'll go like six point eight. Six. That, that's <laughs> nice a fair. You know what? One number. of the other things I really liked about you, that I just thought about is, I love. It would have been interesting to see how this movie played out had Tom Cruise actually played Ilya in it because it would have been different because there are these scenes in it without giving any spoilers away where Henry Cavill keeps referring to him as it because <laughs> you, if you saw the Entourage movie, you do get the understanding. Army Hammer is a massive human being he is a big dude and i just i started really get into this thing of when his hand starts twitching like i just really got the sense of some terrible terrible things are about to happen right. like because he's got such a temper i i really like the way they played that so 6.8 7.5 7.5 <laughs> go see um the man from uncle it's it's really quite good i hope you'll enjoy it